tender coconut kulfi. Hi everybody, welcome to Ananya's Passion on Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana, a place where we really play around with food and come up with interesting, different and really, really easy food that is great for your pocket, great for your taste buds and absolutely lovely to make. If you're living in India, summer is of course no one's favorite season. I mean, all those lovely, shiny, summery songs and don't let the sun go down on me, all that is written by somebody who's not really tasted the blast of the Indian summer. However, the good thing about Indian summer is that the killing temperature is perfect excuse for all kinds of frozen desserts such as ice creams, sorbets and of course the kulfi. So today we have for you the tender coconut kulfi. For the kulfi you will need milk, sugar, tender coconut, chopped pistachios, coconut milk powder, so first, we have to reduce the milk. So I have the milk boiling here and of course you know that reducing the milk is, um, it is a bit of a cumbersome process because you have to constantly attend to the milk and make sure it doesn't burn from the bottom. But hey, something as delicious as tender coconut kulfi, it's going to take a little effort. You know the kulfi is such an interesting Indian dessert. It's very different from its western cousin, the ice cream, because of course the ice cream uses whipped cream, which the kulfi doesn't. The kulfi is um, far more solid in its consistency, and of course um, it does not melt as easily as an ice cream. So though the kulfi was popularized in India by the Mughal emperors, it probably has its origins in the Himalayan tribes uh, of India. Uh, they possibly figured out that um, you know if you freeze milk and then add some interesting ingredients to it, you get um, this lovely dish called kulfi. Uh, I can just imagine them waking up one morning and accidentally walking into the courtyard and said, oh, and look at that milk we left there last evening. Look at this. It's frozen into something that, of course, tastes delicious. And that possibly, ladies and gentlemen, was how kulfi was born. Possibly. So now the milk has been reduced to uh, one third of its original amount and I think it's ready to go into the next step. So I'm going to add the sugar and the coconut milk powder. This is available at um, any grocery store and then of course stir it and mix it. Just make sure there are no lumps anywhere. So the helpful bit about using coconut milk powder is because it also has cornstarch in it, it also works as a reducing agent so your milk is going to get thicker even faster. So as you can see the milk has been boiling and uh, it's got thickened and now it's the right consistency where I can add the tender coconut flesh. So in goes the tender coconut flesh. I've just reserved a few for garnishing but all the balance goes in and the pistachio again I'm going to keep a little bit for the garnish just stir it in together for maybe about two to three minutes and then of course it can go into the kulfi pots and into the refrigerator so this lovely concoction it smells very good is all ready and it's about time we started filling up our kulfi molds now as you see these are our kulfi molds they're metal so it's best that you Keep them in the stand while you spoon in the hot liquid because if you hold it in your hand, you may begin to start feeling the heat. Now, as far as the molds are concerned, don't fill them up to the top because when it freezes, the liquid will expand. If you remember your physics lessons, they'll come to use in the kitchen now. So now I will fill all the kulfi molds in the same way and then this whole thing will go into the freezer. Actually, I'm going to wait till it comes to room temperature and then I'm going to put it in the freezer for about eight hours or uh, just keep it overnight. So this is one of the kulfi cones which has been in the refrigerator, rather freezer for about eight hours and um, it's time we warmed it up so we can take out the kulfi. So this is how we demold the kulfi, just rub it with your hands so that the heat loosens this. 
So here you go, just cut it into half. And then of course, you can sprinkle a little bit of the tender coconut and the pistachio. A brilliant, interesting tender coconut kulfi. This is something which can put any blisteringly hot day to a lovely cooling finish. Have a great time, have a great weekend and do have the tender coconut kulfi.